Hello, my name is Kathleen and welcome back to Play and Learn. I'd like to say diagawit and falcha. Diagawit means hello in Irish and falcha means welcome in Irish. I'm glad you came to see me today because I have a lot of cool things to show you. First, we're going to read a book called Peppa Goes to Ireland. Then I'm going to teach you how to make Peppa into a paper doll. And then I'll teach you one more word from the Irish language. But first, let's get into the book. Are you ready? Peppa and George were packing their suitcases, ready to go to Ireland for an Irish dancing festival. Peppa was so excited she couldn't stop dancing. How will we get to Ireland, Daddy? She asked. Will we dance all the way there? Daddy Pig laughed. No, Peppa. Ireland is a long way away. We need to fly or take a boat. Hmm, said Mummy Pig. I don't think we'll fit everything on an airplane. Do we really need all this? Asked Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig nodded. You never know what will come in handy on holiday. Okay, said Daddy Pig. We'll take the ferry instead. We can't take a ferry, Daddy, gasped Peppa. A ferry is too small to carry us. Not a ferry, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. A ferry. It's a big boat that can carry cars and people. Oh, said Peppa. That's much better. Once Mummy and Daddy Pig had squeezed everything into the car, they set off for the ferry port. We're going to Ireland, sang Peppa excitedly while practicing her Irish dancing steps. Madame Gazelle said I must rehearse my dancing. There's not really room in the car for dance practice, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. We're a bit squished. When they reached the port, Daddy Pig drove their little car inside the enormous ferry that was waiting to take them to Ireland. It's a bit bigger than Grandpa's boat, said Peppa. Brrrr, the ferry honked loudly. Just a bit, Daddy Pig shouted over the noise. On the ferry crossing, Peppa and George went out on the deck. Peppa spotted Ireland in the distance. It's so lovely and green, she cried. Isn't it beautiful, said Daddy Pig. People call Ireland the Emerald Isle because it's green like an emerald. Mummy looks a bit green too, said Peppa. Are you feeling all right, Mummy? The sea's a bit choppy for me today, said Mummy Pig. When they reached Ireland, the sat nav gave Daddy Pig directions to the Irish Dancing Festival. Follow the winding roads in and out, in and out, then up and down and over the hills, it said. After a while, Daddy Pig stopped the car so they could have a proper look around. Peppa and George practiced their Irish dancing up and down and over the hills. As they got to the top of the biggest hill, Peppa spotted Miss Rabbit in a souvenir shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit, said Peppa. What are you doing here? Hello, Peppa, said Miss Rabbit. I'm selling souvenirs. Look at the Irish dancing outfits, gasped Peppa. Can we get some for the Irish dancing festival, Daddy? Please. Okay, Daddy Pig said. Four Irish dancing outfits, please. They can be our little bit of green Ireland to take home. Mummy Pig looked over the things Miss Rabbit was selling. Ooh, she said. I've always wanted one of those. And those. And soon Mummy Pig had bought one of everything in Miss Rabbit's souvenir shop. Are you sure we'll have room for all this in the car? Asked Daddy Pig. Don't worry, said Mummy Pig. I'll find a way to fit it all in. Packing. After Mummy Pig's expert packing, Daddy Pig continued the journey along the winding roads. Are we at the festival yet? Asked Peppa. I think it's just around this bend, said Daddy Pig. Peppa looked eagerly out of the window. It's not. Are we at the festival yet now? I think it's just around this bend, said Daddy Pig. Peppa looked out of the window again. No, she sighed, it's not. Will it be much longer, asked Peppa. Why don't we ask the sat nav, suggested Mummy Pig. Your destination is around the next bend, said the sat nav. When they finally arrived at the Irish dancing festival, the sat nav said, you have reached your destination. Hooray, everyone cheered. It's a bit quiet, said Peppa, as they got out of the car. Why can't we hear any music? At the festival stage, they found Miss Rabbit again. I'm afraid we might have to cancel the festival, she said. Some of the band have forgotten their instruments. Oh no, Peppa said. But then she had a thought. What instruments do they need? An accordion, a tin whistle, and a fiddle, said Miss Rabbit. I think we might have those in our car, cried Peppa. Mummy and Daddy Pig checked the car and pulled out an accordion, a tin whistle, and a fiddle. You never know what might come in handy on holiday, said Mummy Pig, smiling. 
That's very true, Mummy Pig, said Daddy Pig. Miss Rabbit gathered everyone at the festival together. Thanks to Peppa and her family, the Irish Dancing Festival can now begin, she said. Hooray, everyone cheered. Peppa and her family changed into their Irish dancing outfits. The band played their music and everyone started dancing. Irish dancing is the best, cried Peppa. I just can't stop. Me neither, said Daddy Pig, going quite red. You're not green like Ireland, Daddy, said Peppa. You're red. Daddy Pig chuckled. Thanks, Peppa. Everyone was having so much fun dancing, they didn't notice it was beginning to rain. Luckily, Miss Rabbit appeared with a basket full of welly boots. It's getting a bit too muddy to dance now, said Miss Rabbit, frowning. Yes, said Peppa. Splat! What a wonderful idea, said Miss Rabbit. Everyone at the Irish Dancing Festival jumped up and down in the muddy puddles with Peppa. Peppa and her family love Ireland, and they love jumping up and down in Irish muddy puddles. I hope you like learning all about Peppa and their trip around Ireland. Now I'm going to teach you how to make Peppa into a paper doll. Are you ready? Let's get into the craft. I hope you enjoyed that craft, and if you did make one, I would love to see a picture of it. You can have a grown-up help share it with us on social media, or email it to us at info at irishchicago.org. Before you go, I want to teach you one more word from the Irish language. It's dousa. That means dance. Do you remember the words we learned at the beginning of the episode? Do you remember how to say hello? Dia goet. And what about welcome? Falcha. Great job! Now it's time for me to say slán. That means goodbye in Irish. Slán. See you next time.